Hello Aries. It looks like someone's receiving the call to the universe for a beautiful connection that is coming in, but an obstacle stands in the way. Someone is trying to evaluate this connection based on a past connection. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello everyone, welcome in. This is an Aries Tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. But these last couple of weeks, as you may have seen, more have been popping in there. Let's see what sort of theme we have for you guys today. Forgive me, it's early. This is the first time I've spoken out loud, so I still sound a little like I just got up. The call. This one's been coming up a lot lately. Number one, honor the whisper of your soul. This feels like a life path call, not necessarily a relationship or soulmate call. What's the complimenting energy for the call for Aries, please? focus on the white that one's been coming up too. number 37 reduces to a 10 to a 1 so we're kicking off something significant related to one's individual call again this doesn't necessarily feel like a relationship this feels like more of a call like the next step in your soul evolution kind of call something that you're passionate about kind of call. I mean you could be passionate about a relationship sure this feels a little more individual. What's going on with Aries, please? Show me what's going on with Aries, please. And there's some changes happening with Five of Pentacles there underneath. Eight of Coins. Page of Coins. Nine of Coins, Eight of Cups, Three of Cups, King of Cups, Four of Cups. Oh, damn, really? <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. I'm going to read this set as you, Aries. This is the person you're connecting with. This is the situation. It feels like two people that came together over the course of a um, mutual project. Could be co-workers. Could be. Could, could be. Um, could be boss employee. Um, I'm getting more of a detached approach, though. Like um, maybe they're a vendor for the company you work for, so they, they kind of come and go or vice versa. feel like this already happened um this person you regard you hold in high regard okay um but i'm getting that you want to keep them as a friend but there's the call though so It feels like it's a a high value individual that could have brought a lot of the best out of you. So I'm, I'm curious as to why this Ace of Cups, Two of Cups was dropped. See, it grew to a certain point, then it was then it was gone. There's some detachment here in your heart space. It's like you went from King of Cups, Eight of Cups, Page of Coins, you just shrinked it, you just shrink your energy down. Let's see what happened. Because this person's disappointed. 
they're not like depressed or sad or it's just kind of like ah oh, that sucks okay but it's related to the call so th this is something significant show me the eight of coins please <laughs> Hermit card of Virgo. Yep. Silence. Three of swords. Ouch. Ten of cups. Eight of swords. Six of wands. Eight of wands. Two of swords. Chariot. Here's the thing, okay, y'all aren't talking, or at least you're not talking to them. They could have tried to message you or something. Um, there's way too much dwelling on Ten of Cups. Okay, can, can we show me why the Ten of Cups is a problem? You've had to start over from an empress already. Okay. King of coins, empress, keys. Okay. Okay, got it. <laughs> it's like I knew there's a connection here. Um, so this this is this is not a third party with two kings and this empress. This is not a third party. Um, this is a situation where the masculine, I'm, which I'm getting is you, Aries. The masculine views himself as lesser than the feminine. Okay. And I don't mean, I mean in a, f a family wealth sort of situation, for example, like, like Aries, the masculine I'm speaking to has an ex-wife who came from money. Okay. And he, maybe he was more of a blue collar kind of guy. Okay. And so trying to hold on, maybe he had the 10 of cups with her at one time. Okay, but this is showing me now he has to start all over. So y'all aren't with together anymore. You seeing this new one as such a catch, this is reminding you of this ex. So this this feminine may come from some privilege as well. And so you're automatically assuming she's like this one. So you're shrinking down your energy. We're going to find out if she's like the one that, she, that you had to break up with or divorce okay a lot of mental bs about that for sure and so the funny thing is is that you view your curbing this feminine as soul growth like you learned the lesson and that you're just going to move forward and carry on and act like you don't see her so but this has to do with the call. It's not the test. It's the call. Okay. I have a feeling I already know where this is going to go. <laughs> but we're going to see. Show me the page of coins for Aries. Yeah, you, yeah, you completely cut off your energy from this person. Show me the eight of cups. It's a lot, but we're going to take it. can't remember what really came first. High Priestess, Card of Pisces, Four of Wands, Knight of Cups, Sun, Leo Energy. So either you know that you are you are leaving something stable behind, a well established a well established home, could be family name. Um, you're leaving that behind for something, getting more with the sun that there might, you might be a masculine that works outdoors. It's not necessarily something that makes you very happy. I feel like you're moving and shaking in your career and that's what you're putting your focus into. Are you building your Ten of Pentacles? There you are. Trying to decide what future commitment will look like. Afraid to repeat what happened before. You did love that person. 
until it was too overwhelming, burdensome. Show me the King of Cups is Scorpio energy. Uh-huh. Rejecting the heart. Yep, holding back. Strength energy. Rejecting the heart space energy. Rejecting the spouse energy. Okay. Looking the other way. Away from the heart space. You'd rather be grounded in reality in your 3D reality in your coin. Okay. Which I understand. I get it. I get it. Because it, it's if you're like this, then the previous thing like raked your ass over the coals. I get it. But I have a feeling you might have judged this one a little too quickly. Because it doesn't feel like there was much of a kickoff to this. With this nine of cups this person. That you view as a catch. Show me the nine of coins, please. Show me the nine of coins. Princess of Swords, Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands. Strength. Ten of Cups, Four Swords. King of Pentacles there underneath, Taurus Energy. So she actually kind of kept a little bit of an eye on you after the fact. Okay. Um, she's kind of beating him off with a stick, so she totally has options. And she really is holding out for her Ten of Cups. Okay. Um... That, that's that's the thing that she's kind of keeping close to her chest, okay? She's not in a rush. Show me the Three of Cups, please. Show me the Three of Cups. The moon, Pisces energy. Nine of Wands. Nine of Swords. Devil. Part of Capricorn, Hierophant card, Taurus. Fool underneath. <laughs> Okay, so, okay. Got it, okay. There's something about the dynamic between the two of you that reminded her of someone that screwed her over. <laughs> okay, um... Getting a little bit of insomnia here for her. A little bit. She, because of what she went through, she is quick to close the door on things now. Which tells me she stayed in a cycle too long with someone to learn that lesson the hard way. Okay. Um... But now it's like the, there there is a window opportunity for maybe for maybe something to turn in to turn into a date maybe for example um, there was there was a time there there was a window for that and it didn't happen and instead of letting herself go into the negative she just held the wall okay you don't see that she did this because you it, I'm, I'm getting you two don't know each other well enough to know these kinds of things about each other. It's one of those things, like, if you just talked, you know, if you just talked, show me the Four of Cups, show me the Four of Cups. Nine of Cups, Justice, Card of Libra, Three of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Prince of Cups. Yeah, she are, okay, it feels like you have both just previously went through your shit show relationship connections or soulmate connections okay that that just were brutal um that's what's like if you guys could have just talked you know there's so much misunderstanding with with conversations that don't happen you know um this there's a little bit of disappointment because there were things there that kind of indicated to her that things with that a connection with you may, may have actually been balanced and fair. Um, I'm getting that she has Libra in her chart somewhere prominent. Um, she is, 
she is protective of her heart space because of what was lost before. So she's, but something else that she learned is she's waiting for the Ten of Cups to come to her. Okay, that, that's good. So why are we seeing this today? If Aries is convinced he's learned this lesson and that a woman from, say, say a privileged family, if that is the differentiation, is the bad thing to do. Why are we seeing this today? Prince of Wands, King of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Oh, so you guys are lovers. <laughs> because this is your person. This is your person. There's going to be something that lights you up back in this direction of wanting to socialize, take her out, get together. There's something here about that. What, what changes in Aries' mind? Ah, so it looks like you might see her out with someone else. Yeah, you might see her out with someone else. Okay. I'm going to head over to the extended and see what's going on with her. I'm going to see what's going on with her in her current energy, her near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, Feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I will see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.